اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹو آل دی اسٹوڈنٹس ٹیکنگ پارٹ ان دی ٹرانسلیشن کلاس از یو نو وی ہیو بین اوے فار دا منتھ اف رمضان اینڈ وی ناؤ ایم ٹو کنٹینیو دی ٹرانسلیشن از وی لیفٹ اف بیفور رمضان اینڈ وی فنیشڈ آن دی 41st ورس اف سورۃ البقرہ And inshallah, we will continue from the 42nd verse. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Wa aminu bima anzaltu musaddiqan lima ma'akum. Wa la takunu awwala kafirin bi. Wa la tashtaru bi ayati samanan qalila. Wa iya ya fattakun. and believe in what i have sent down which fulfills that which is with you and be not the first to disbelieve therein and barter not my signs for a paltry price and take protection in me alone that's the obviously the general translation now we shall come to the split word translation wa and aminu aminu is believe you believe Right. So this is called Fail Amr. It holds an instruction with it. Wa aminu and you believe. Bima. Bima is with what? If you were attending the class uh, earlier. Just one second. This will be Bima. B is with. Ma is what? So, bima is with what? That's the way you will see it in the Quran. Wa aminu, and you believe, bima, in what or with what? Anzalto. I sent down or I have sent down. Anzalto, I have sent down. This is in the past tense called fail mazi in Arabic. Anzalto, I have sent down. Musaddiqan. Musaddiqan is fulfilling. In Urdu, we say jo tasdeeq karti hai. Musaddiqan, fulfilling, which fulfills. Okay, musaddiqan, which fulfills or fulfilling. Lima. Again, let's break this down. Earlier, we studied that ma means what. Okay. Now, if we break this down, lima, like so, li, for ma what remember bima with what or in what lima is for what if we say li ahmad it will mean for ahmad so lima for what ma'akum so ma is with ma'akum is with you Ma is with in Arabic. Always remember that. If we say um, uh, Ma Ahmad, it will mean with Ahmad. So Ma Akum is with you. Ma Akum. Wala. Wa and La is not. Wala and not. Takunu. And Takunu is you be. Takunu. You be. Wala takunu and do not be. Takunu means you be. This is in a plural. Awwal. Awwal is the first. Awwal. Wala takunu awwala. And do not be the first. The first what? Kafir. Kafir is disbeliever. Kafirim bihi. Okay, let's break this down again. Bihi will be... With, just like here, right? With, he, with it. Right? Do not be the first one to disbelieve in it or with it. Wala and not tashtaru, you trade. You buy or you trade. Bi ayati. Ayati is my signs. Bi ayati will be with my signs. Let's break this down again. Be with ayati 
my signs okay if uh, let's say i took away the uh, the ya ayat is signs versus but the ya in the end will indicate my signs ayati my signs okay samanan is price samanan qalila is a paltry price qalila means less something which is very little so for a small price for a paltry price wa and iya ya again the ya hai like ayati the i the ya hai indicates me so wa iya ya iya hai means alone right iya is alone wa iya ya and me alone the ya is me iya alone wa and wa iya ya this is allah emphasizing on the point on a significant point which will which comes later which is fattakun fattakuni is fa so ittaku is take protection ni will be the ya again hai eh? hey you can see there's a kasra beneath the noon this is actually indicating towards me fattakuni but obviously the ya has been dropped okay so fattakuni is so take protection ni in me now i'm um, uh, obviously many of you have come after the month of ramazan um it might take a few days to get used to it again so let's look at the general translation here again the whole purpose is for you having the general translation here as well as the split word translation here is so that you can get a flavor of both forms of translation and then ease uh, Uh, make it easier for you to understand the the translation in itself wa amenu and believe bima in what anzalto anzalto i have sent down musaddiqan which fulfills or fulfilling lima ma'akum that which is with you ma'akum with you lima with what or for what ma'akum is with you wala takunu and be not wala takunu and be not what awwala the first the first what kafirin to disbelieve or the first disbeliever be he therein or in it yet as i explained to you be he where is it um right here be he with it in it or as the translation is made here therein wala tashtaru and barter not or or trade not bi ayati my signs with my signs right so wala tashtaru bi ayati and barter not my signs for what samanan qalila for a paltry price qalila paltry for little samanan is price wala tashtaru bi ayati samanan qalila and bought not my signs for a paltry price wa iya ya wa and iya alone ya me as you can see in me alone wa iya ya in me alone fattaqun take protection so we'll go to the next verse now wala talbisul haqqa bil batil wa taqtumul haqqa wa antum ta'lamun and confound not truth with falsehood no hide the truth knowingly wala talbisu wala and la not talbisu confuse right and do not confuse obviously confuse will be you confuse and do not confuse wa and la not talbisu you confuse you confound al haqq the truth the alif lam hai as we've studied many times before is an indication of something in particular 
So when we say Alif Lam Mim Zalik Al Kitab, Al Kitab is the book, i.e. the Holy Quran. So Al Haqq is the truth. Haqqun on its own will be any general truth. Al Haqq is the truth. Wala Talbisul Haqqa and do not confound the truth. Do not confuse the truth. Bil Batil with falsehood. Al Batil is falsehood. Behe is with. Remember, Bima, Bihi, all these indicate the same translation, Biyati, Bil Batil. Be is with. So in fact, what this is, uh, just for um, uh, to explain to you a bit more, is Be Al Batil. Right? Al Batil is the falsehood. Just like Al Haqq is the truth, Al Batil is the falsehood. Bil Batil is with the falsehood. Wala talbisul haqqa bil batil and do not confuse or confound the truth for falsehood or with falsehood. Then Allah states, wa taqtumul haqqa. Taqtumu and taqtumu you hide. Right? And you hide al haqqa the truth. Wa antum and you ta'lamun and you know. So when you look at the general translation again, like here, Wala Talbisu Al Haqqa and confound not truth. Wala Talbisu Al Haqqa and confound not truth. Bil Batil with falsehood. Wala Talbisu Al Haqqa Bil Batil and confound not truth with falsehood. Wa taqtumul haqqa and you hide the truth. But as you can see, the general translation states, no hide the truth. That's why I'm giving you the translations of both. So when I ask you for the split word, you know exactly the translation that I require from you. But in the general translation, you have to make sense of the verse. Right? So when you look at the verse, say, Wala talbisul haqqa bil batil wa taqtumul haqqa. And confound not truth with falsehood, no hide the truth. Wa antum ta'alamun and antum you ta'alamun, you know. But as you can see, the translation here is knowingly because it's a general translation. However, if I was to ask you just the translation for this, wa antum ta'alamun, this will be and antum you ta'alamun, you know. Let's move on. Wa aqimu salata wa atu zakata wa raka'u ma'arraka'in. In very famous verse, I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. Wa aqimu. And observe prayer and pay the zakat and bow down with those who bow. Wa aqimu. And observe. Right? But then there's something here I would like to explain. And you observe. Because this is fail amr again, it's an instruction. So an instruction is given to someone, right? So and you observe. This is an instruction from Allah. Wa aqimu and you observe what as salata. Like again, alif lam, the prayer. As salata, the prayer. Wa and atu. Again, and you pay. Wa'atu. Again, remember when you're reading this verse of the Quran, this is Allah directly speaking to us, giving us instructions uh, as what to do, right? So aqimu salat and observe, you observe prayer, wa'atu zakat, and you pay the zakat again, as zakat, alif lam, the zakat. Warkau. Again, this is fail amr. This is an instruction. Wa and warkau and you bow. Okay. As in namaz, you all know, ruku. That's a form of bowing down. Warka'u, and you bow. Ma'a, with arraki'in. Arraki'in is those who bow. Right? So if I was to um, uh, say, arraki'in. Arraki'in is the one who bows. Arraki'in is plural. Those who bow, right? 
So I think we can move on to the next verse. Do you enjoin others to do what is good and forget your own selves while you read the book? Will you not then understand? A is used, um, I'm sure we've all studied it before. This is used prior to a question or prior to making a statement a ta'murun ta'murun is do you instruct or do you enjoin ta'muruna you enjoin a ta'muruna do you enjoin right so this is obviously uh, remember as the verse says states you can see the question mark there. This is linking to the alif a, ah. but obviously the the question mark will come right at the end. Ata'muruna, do you instruct or do you enjoin anas the people belbir with good? Again, b as we've studied four or five times above is in fact this. With albir is with goodness or with good. Bilbir with good. But tansauna and tansauna you forget. If you remember, we just studied tansauna above. No, sorry, it's my mistake. Tansauna it was taktumu. Tansauna is you forget. What tansauna and you forget anfusakum anfusakum is your own selves to break this for you anfus is self nafs i'm sure you've heard of the in arabic nafs kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut every soul has to taste death the the plural of nafsun is Sorry, the plural for nafsun is anfus. Okay, so you have nafsun, which is self, and anfus is the plural. Kum anfusakum kum is your anfusakum is your own selves. Okay, anfusakum wa antum and you antum you tatluna. You read again if you look at this very carefully. Those of you who understand Arab, uh, Urdu as well, Tilavat again okay? from the same family, Tatluna, and you read. What do you read? Al Kitab, the book. Afala, Afala Taqalun. Alif has come again, which is a question mark. A is well, fa, so. La not. Okay, let me break it down for you again. Afala taqalun. A will fa so la not taqalun. You understand. As you can see here, the root word can be identified quite easily, which is ain qaf and lam. Akal, right? Brain, understanding. So taqalun is you understand. This is the verb taqalun. Afala will. So not you understand, but as you can see the the translation here, will you not then understand? Question mark. The question mark again is the alif here. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to take you to the. Um, just bear with me, please. Right, so this is the last verse that we've just studied. Tan sauna, right? Ata muruna nasa bilbare wa tan sauna, and you forget. 
So the important words here explain that Tansauna forget is derived from Nasya, meaning he forgot, he ignored, he left off a thing, according to the lexicon Akrab. Taqalun, you understand, is derived from Akala, meaning he understood, he realized his mistake. And if you continue here, uh, let's just go right to the end. Thus, aklun also embodies the sense of restraining, akrab. But for you to understand is these first two meanings uh, should be enough for you. Akala, he understood or he realized his mistakes. Obviously, um, you understand after making a, a mistake sometimes. So he realized his mistakes, meaning that he now understood. Now he's going to become, he's going to move on from that mistake. Birrun, again, yeah. Bil birre, al bir. So they say that birrun, good, means acting well towards relations and others, truthfulness, fidelity, righteousness, obedience, obedience to God, akrab. It also means extensive goodness or beneficence according to the lexicon of Mufradat. Okay, this is the five volume commentary that we also study whilst we, we go on the translation. And this is obviously not all of it. This is just to give you a gist of some of the, uh, the when we break a certain word, you get what's called the root word. So Tansauna, the root word will be from Nasya, which is you forgot. Anyway, when you move up, we go to the next verse, the one before. They speak about the word zakah. Very famous is one of the five pillars of Islam. It's derived from zakah, right? So the root word is zakah, i.e. he or it grew or increased or became good or purified, etc. So literally zakat signifies one, increase or augmentation, Two, purification, according to the lexicon dictionary, according to the Lane dictionary, sorry. So zakat is also called because it results in the purification of the property from which it is given and also it, in its increase through God's blessing. Okay, so I'm not sure many of you, how many, how many were familiar with the terminology of zakat, but this is a good explanation for you, increase or augmentation or purification. Right. Warka'u, if you remember, Warka'u ma'arake'in and bow. Irka'u means bow down. It's derived from the root word raka'a, which means he bowed down. So when we say raka'a ilallah, I mean, most of you can translate this straight away. Raka'a means he bowed down, ila is towards. Ilal masjid, towards masjid. Ilallah is towards Allah, meaning he leaned towards God and found peace of mind in him. Right? So, um, uh, so raqia, ma'a raqia'in, right? So, if you remember here, ma'a raqia'in, raqia'in is those who bow. Rakia, which is the singular, means one who bows down before God or leans towards him, according to Lisan and Akrab. The Arabs used the word Rakia for one who worshipped God alone to the exclusion of idols. Okay. So we go uh, to the verse above again. Right. وَلَا تَلْبِسُ الْحَقَّ بِالْبَاطِلْ وَتَقْتُمُ الْحَقَّ وَانْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ and confound not truth with falsehood, nor hide the truth knowingly. Talbisu, la talbisu, is derived from labasa, which means, as you, I'm sure you're all familiar, libas, clothing, garment. Labasa, which means he put on a clothing. And as a clothing serves to cover or hide the body of the person clothed, the word has also come to mean to cover up or to hide or to confound or to make a thing mixed up or doubtful. Again, wala talbesu, do not confuse, do not doubt. But I'm not sure how many of you um, uh, will understand straight away. This talbesu is directly linked to the concept of libas, clothing or garment. As I was the explanation of Akrab, 
the dictionary Akrab explains, it, it beautifully explains why the meaning is such. Al Batil, falsehood, is derived from the root word Batala, which means it became corrupt or it became inoperative or it went waste and served no useful purpose. The Arabs used the expression Batala Damuhu of a murdered person whose blood is not avenged. The word Batil means anything opposed to Haq. This is very important, right? And do not confound the truth for falsehood. So anything which is opposed to Haq, the truth, is Batil. So falsehood. To anything that goes to waste and serves no useful purpose, right? An obsolete edict, edict or commandment which is no longer operative. Jazakumullah, um, Sanjizah, to all of you for coming. Inshallah, tomorrow we will have the second class of the week. So we have two classes, Wednesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Um, so if you found it interesting, then please join us again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.